Welcome to Eastgate in County Sligo. This place is haunted. There's a ghost in here minding some treasure. This is Ross Lee Castle in Eastgate. And it's got quite the history. It's also known as the Sailor's Bed. It was built in 1207 for a fellow by the name of Oliver MacDonald. He didn't come from around here. He was from the islands between Ireland and Scotland. And he ended up marrying a local lady down here. She was actually an O'Dowd widow. Now the O'Dowds have a lot of history around here. And one story is that they were attacked once by Vikings. And when they were, they hid their treasure somewhere in that castle. I'm going to have a peep and see if I can find any of this so-called treasure that's supposed to be in it. It's a risky business because it's supposed to be protected by ghosts. There's a woman up here who met her demise. A woman in white. Maybe she's in here. Let's have a look. She doesn't like people disturbing her treasure. Let's see. This is it. And right up at the top is the sailor's bed. Any sign of treasure? I don't know, I think the treasure itself is probably this building. It's pretty impressive. If the sea is noisy down here at Eski, it's a sign of good weather. But if it's noisy up at Ennis Grown, it's a sign of bad weather. Now it's getting kind of noisy here behind me, so I'll take it because it is actually lovely down here at the moment. There are lots of stories all about Selkies down here too. Not hard to understand why. I mean, it's just so tempting to sit out in a rock. But there's also a ferry path down by the sea here. Now, you don't disturb a ferry path. You don't block a ferry path. You don't dig up a ferry path because it's supposed to be for travel for the ferries to get from one place to the next around the country. have given me their blessing. I found a hagstone. That's something that I can use now for protection against the fairies. And I found it here on the fairy path by Eski. And it has to have naturally occurring uh, holes in it. And in other countries it's believed to protect from different spirits and things. But here in Ireland it's for protection from the fairies. So whether they gave it to me as a gift or I just was lucky, I've got it. The folklore down here teaches us to respect nature and to live in harmony with it. And there was a case of a man who came down here fishing, fisherman, and he didn't understand this. He ended up taking too many fish and this upset the spirits of the sea. And then he drowned, he was taken in under the water as a result of his greed. Now whether it's true or whether it's not, it shows that the people long ago really had a special reverence for nature and an understanding of the dangers that lay beneath. And whether it was used as a story of warning or as just a way to entertain people, there was definitely a lesson to be learned in it. And there's still a lesson to be learned today. I think if we could take an ounce of what our ancestors understood about nature and respect for it, I think we'd be doing an awful lot better in our world.